So applying the map is complicated, right? There's a lot of information, what state you're in and um, where the day lays out. So to simplify that, this is sort of a simplified version of what the formula is that's going to come. So the formula to take all of this stuff into application is we want to balance everything. Everything is balanced out. So think about if you wake up my morning today, woke up, drank water, okay? So once I got some water in with a little bit of minerals, then as I warmed up, did my activity, exercise, movement, whatever that is, got warmed up. Once I've completed that activity or workout, I start to consume nutrients. So for me, it's like maybe a protein shake early and then breakfast after that, some food, right? Then recover physically. For me, it's take a shower, do whatever, get my family ready for work and school, and then I'm ready again for water, right? And then after that, a while again, I'm ready for some sort of movement or activity. If I'm at work, it might just be walking. If it's mid-morning, it might be exercise. Then a snack, right? Then physically we recover. So everything is a circle. And this circle can be applied every two to three hours a day. Some people in 90 minutes, that's a really small chunk. But the stomach, every 90 or so minutes, is doing its thing. It's digesting. So everything is activated evenly around the schedule. So... We don't want to drink water and have food together, necessarily. We want them to be opposite, right? So opposite times. And we're not going to be active and recover at the same time. We want them to be opposite. So water and food are separated by activity. And then food and water are separated with recovery. So it's a very simple strategy. You can rotate this again. This could be a two or three hour rotation of your day it could be the more cycles you get through this the better you will feel so if you get through this three four five times a day full circles you're going to feel really good if you get through this once or twice a day you're going to kind of feel good after that but you realize that you did not maximize your potential so the more times you can get through this cycle sort of within your day organized the better you're going to feel the more rhythm you're going to have Right, so we can kind of look at this again as sort of something that might be familiar to you, right? A little yin yang. So this could be the recovery aspect, right? So this is the yang, the activity aspect. So as our activity from peak recovery, we start to feel like we can handle more activity. We get hydrated first, then do our activities properly hydrated. Post activity, we right from the peak of activity, we start our recovery here. It's a little bit, we start to get nutrients, protein in, start to get some food in, and we fully go into recovery. And so you see how this cycle is self-balancing. We want to cycle that takes care of everything and self balances. We know that water offsets food and activity offsets recovery. So as long as they stay opposites balanced and rotated through, we're gonna feel in rhythm all day and have that nice yang yin, yin yang balance where we feel active and hydrated and then get nutrients and recover. And we can layer this throughout our day as much as we want. But again, the more times we get through this cycle in a day, the better we're going to feel.